As customers flee the center of the grocery store, the supply chain splinters. Soup in a can, Velveeta cheese, Kellogg cereals, all the kinds of items found in the customer-free desert that is increasingly the straight aisles in the center of the grocery store. The area of greatest interest now is the periphery, that outer loop of the store stocking fresh fruits and vegetables, the bakery, the deli, the fish and meat counters, and even sushi. Rapidly changing consumer preferences are putting pressure on players in the entire food supply chain, right from R&D all the way through an item making it to a consumer's plate. Take the demand for natural ingredients. Today, 75% to 80% of new products contain natural colors, but only about a third of the market is natural colors. To address the demand for cleaner labels without scary sounding chemicals and preservatives that are a customer turnoff, suppliers are turning to cutting edge technologies, replacing salt while retaining flavor, preserving shelf life without chemicals, and making things not only taste good, but look good in an all natural world is a huge challenge. As in so many other parts of our economy, speed has become a competitive weapon. Campbell's Soup tried acquiring its way to greater consumer relevance, buying a string of fast growth companies making fresher foods that live at the periphery of the grocery store. Kraft Heinz's 2017 attempt to acquire Unilever, followed by disastrous performance in its brands, has finally demonstrated the limits of cost cutting in the sector. The smart money says innovation and investment are critical if these companies have a hope of remaining relevant. Sign up for monthly insights at ritamagrath.com/newsletter. Thanks for watching.